Hello everybody, Chris here from Truly Holistic. Um, in this video, I want to talk about tools that you can use to cleanse your crystals, also supercharge your crystals to another level. Okay, so there's two aspects to this. And obviously, you know, there is um, using burning sage, putting your crystals out into the moonlight, Put, burying them into the ground, which is, you know, the grounding of the earthing effect, allowing the sun to shine on them to charge those crystals up. So, which can take a bit of time, a bit of effort. Now, I've got a simple solution to this. These products I'm going to show you now are quick and easy and effective manner of cleansing your crystals, but also supercharging crystals within seconds. Okay. First one I'm going to talk about is the neutralization ring. And this is part of the Crystalline Incorporated range, which Truly Holistic is a distributor of this product. Now the neutralization ring um, creates a vortex, which then uh, transmutes the negative energy that the crystals may have accumulated and transmuting them into um, an energy or a structure where it can take on new energies again. You know, that's why people cleanse their crystal because they know that over a period of time that those crystals can accumulate certain energies and especially negative energies. And what we want to do is recalibrate them so that not only they're giving off the, the frequency that is connected to that specific crystal, um, but it can do it in a very positive way, but also not giving off negative energy. Okay, the thing about a crystal, crystal is... Um, an amplifier of frequency okay and each crystal is a little bit different because they're giving off different frequencies from one one to the other whether it's amethyst rose quartz uh, citrine or um, bloodstone or whatever whatever crystal you're using shungite so the cool thing about neutralization ring okay and we sell this in the nine inch variety but also a four inch variety which is a smaller one all you need to do is place your crystals on top of this ring. So you have this on your desk, on the floor, and you place the crystals on this neutralization ring, and within seconds, within 50, 20, 30 seconds, those crystals are ready to go again. It's the same for people, for, uh, uh, same for people that use the crystal pendulums, and they want to clear out any interference or negative energy, you place that uh, crystal pendulum on here, Again, 15 20, second, 15, 20, 30 seconds later, it's all ready to go again. So very quick, very effective, very great way of doing it. Uh, and that is using the neutralization ring. Now, another ring that we quite often incorporate with the neutralization ring is the sun ring. And you obviously see the difference between the two. So right, the prongs go inwards for this one and the prongs go out for this one. Now, that's because they kind of have polarity or duality effect where the neutralization ring is transmuting negative field or non-compatible compatible field back into compatible field. So it's now in a structure that can take on energy. Now, well, we're going to bring this one in to then charge the energy, okay? So what we do with this, after using the neutralization ring, you'd use this ring, you place all your crystals within the sun ring, and what this does is it connects those crystals to their highest soul potential, okay? One thing we must understand, everything deemed in our physical reality, and we only call it a physical reality because of based of what we see, okay? And our visible sight is only 0.0035% of everything that is possibly there or can be seen in this reality. So our visible sight is really, and that's you know, a scientific fact to document that really we shouldn't believe in what we see, all right? Now, these crystals are here, and anything that is within that window, that keyhole reality, as I just mentioned, what we call physical, they are just a mere representation of what they truly can be. So when I talk about, talk about my clients, right? is that if we are just going by what is observable and what is seen, which is the mantra of science, funnily enough, right? It has to be, to be evidence-based, it has to be observable. 
Well, that's less than a 1% representation of what that is. Wouldn't you want to get the 400% potential out of that thing? Well, a, a great way of doing that, because we know that everything we see physical is only here because it's connected to a, a consciousness. And these crystals have a consciousness, okay? And when we use the sun ring, we connect that physical representation of that consciousness to its highest potential as a soul or as a consciousness, okay? The thing about the sun, okay, the sun is symbolic for the word soul. When I go to people from a human perspective and I ask them, what is your main light source? What is your main energy source? Why do you know, they have life here on earth? It's the sun, of course, right? The star that the earth travels around, circuits around. If I was to go to, from a different perspective, and I say to someone, I want you to go within, not externally, but within, and connect to your main light source, your energy source, and I'm referencing the soul, of course, right? So, uh, as above, as below, right? So, even the Latin word for sun is S-O-L, and you pronounce it just like S-O-U-L, soul. Okay, so this is the benefit of the sun ring when we are using it in this manner to charge your crystals. So having these two products together are wonderful for cleansing, but also supercharging your crystals. And that's the crystalline rage that we have here at Trini Holistic. Now, not only crystals, but also anything that is using a form of crystal in it. For example, organite. Pieces of organite, you do the same thing. Okay. Now, another product which I think does both the roles of the neutralization ring and the sun ring is uh, tensor rings, okay? And tensor rings are different, okay? It depends on the cubit measure. And the cubit measure is when we twist the wire, copper wire, and we cut it to a specific measurement and loop it back together and weld or braise it together to create a loop, create a circle, okay? And that cubit measure is what is anchoring in either a frequency or a spectrum of frequencies. Now, the cubit measures that uh, make the, this trillid trio set up were cubit measures that were brought forth for me, and, and, and a big goal of mine is to understand reality. That's my job, to understand reality. You know, and that came about through clearing certain things that would just keep in reintroducing themselves, and that wasn't good enough for me. I need to understand wh why they're here. Why did they keep returning? Uh, and that has led, on, led myself to another uh, on another path of learning so much more about reality with greater understanding and knowing and wisdom to provide not only a clearing but an understanding of what that represents and what we also see in this window of reality and what it represents. So I was given, guided these cubit measures to make up these three rings. So these three rings are very abundant, they're very cosmic, they're very expansive. For example, the, the ring on the outside, which we call the activation qubit, connects you through the heart to your soul. That's where your soul resides. So this is very much in alignment with the sun ring and connecting you into the soul. So when we lay this down and we put all the crystals in there, what this tensor ring does, it not only transmutes non-compatible field back into compatible field like the neutralization ring, but it also anchors in a higher level of that crystal to charge those crystals at that level, okay? Now, that is just the beginning of things. These other two rings, the gateway qubit, which is the smallest one of the trio, that connects whatever you place within the rings, and it could might not even crystals. It could be organite, could be a person, could be food, could be water. You'll get it, by using that ring, you're going to connect it to its multi-dimensional self, okay? We, we, that's when we connect into higher selves, okay? And what we know about all the substances that we see here, okay, including ourselves, we're all multidimensional. We exist on a multitude of planes or levels, which we could call dimensions, universes, or realities, either one. So that connects you into what quantum physicists would call a quantum entanglement, where you connect to a multitude of levels. So if we pick up this amethyst, we know amethyst for a particular reason, okay, or purpose, or why we'd use that in this reality. But an amethyst on another reality will be a little bit different because the universal laws 
are a little bit different from universe to universe or reality to reality. So you're going to bring not only a spectrum of frequencies of what this represents, the whole 100%, not the visible sight of 0.0035%, but the 100%, but a multitude of spectrums that exist on a multitude of realities. So that's, that it just supercharges it to another level. And then the middle, middle ring, which we call, we use, the uh, which is the ascension qubit, that takes you all the way back to source, okay? The source, the origin of it, that energy that then gets projected in what we know as amethyst or any crystal that we visibly see in this reality. And that is the highest level you can go in regards to consciousness of anything that is part of this reality. That goes even beyond because that source of energy gets branched into all those different realities. Okay, so you can see how that just takes it to another level with the trio set. And we have this trio set in three different formats, um, a personal size, a home set, and a practitioner set. This is the largest practitioner set. And why I'm showing you this in part of this video is because the size of it. You can put so many of your crystals and just sit them in there. If you, if you want, when you're using your crystals, take them out. But when you're not using crystals, plant them in the trio set and they will just keep them clean, clear, but absolutely supercharged to their full potential. And that's the thing about crystals that, that often doesn't get explained. Crystals are also, can be programmed and they can be charged to a superhuman level, super consciousness level. So these particular products just take crystals, organite to a completely new level uh, using the crystalline range, but also using the tensor rings that we have here at Truly Holistic. So if you're interested in any of these products for either cleansing your crystals, your organite, but also supercharging them, go to my website, uh, trulyholistic.net forward slash products forward slash, and you'll be able to find these products here. Until next time, catch you later.